All right, we're rolling the whole time. <laughs> we're still rolling now. Standing at uh, Mixon, which is going to be a new mixed use development here on the side of the old John C. Calhoun homes in North Charleston. And uh, we're in the middle, we're standing in the middle of a bunch of houses that have been here since 1941, uh, but they're beyond repair and are going to be demolished. And so we, we thought that um, while we're in the process of getting these buildings ready for demolition, why not engage a local arts community to make something of this in a way of, uh, of a medium for expression? during a time of transition and just kind of bring the community together. Come out here and, and celebrate what's here, you know, uh, honor what the past was here and celebrate what's to come. Really interesting uh, local artists are out here. Uh, what's the range in age? Of the artists? Yeah. Um, well, we had uh, some of the paint out here has been done by a, a local Girl Scout troop from the neighbors in Liberty Hill. So That's we're talking about uh, elementary age kids on up to uh, uh, College of Charleston art professor. So um, we've got we've got a little bit of everybody. All right, hey. <laughs> so how many hours you got? What in here so far? I don't know. They didn't give me a month and a half to do the project, so um, it's been uh, non-stop for last week. I've been maybe getting about two hours of sleep. Uh, calling people up, trying to get logistics set up, and you know, you've done these events before. So you know, all yeah, but this is even crazier. Yeah, I've got a whole neighborhood to deal with. But uh, me doing industrial strength and other things that I've done, I've got plenty of practice at doing this. So. My name is Kenton Barron, and I'm from Charleston. My name is Donna Jones, and I'm here from Charleston. I'm Joel Frampton. I've lived in North Charleston since I was 12 years old. And I'm Gail Frampton, and I've lived in North Charleston since I was five years old. Hi, my name is Andrea Hasley, and I'm a resident of uh, Park Circle right here in North Charleston. I actually live two blocks away, so I'm right here in my neighborhood tonight. Oh, my name is Shante Salibert, and I live in Charleston. I'm from Milwaukee. And I came to be here today because um, I was approached about this project by two friends of mine that actually did this room and another room, Christina Bailey and Jesse Hendricks. And I used to work over at Verizon House, and um, so I feel a really deep connection to this neighborhood and community, and I wanted to be a part of it. My name is Frank Harrell, and I'm from North Charleston. Okay, and how'd you come to be with us today? Well, I saw the article in the paper. Of course, I've been watching the progress as far as the uh, possible um, work that's down the road uh, as far as this area is concerned. Well, I'm here because I live in the community and like to support things that are in the community. And I'm very excited about what's going on in this neighborhood and the re-deconstruction of um, not only this area, but other areas in the historic North Charleston area. I came over here about two weeks ago to look around and kind of feel it out and um, explored the houses and in this one I found a little thumbnail of a little girl that um, was kind of looking at the camera with little um, hair things in and from that it kind of inspired to capture the spirit of the house in a moment in this giant spider web. So that's, oh, that's kind of how right. the inspiration came from. came back and, and, uh, and painted it in. That's real it was striking. cool coming here at night because that's we were alone, me and Jim, you know, hanging out in the old neighborhood would come through and kind of tell it. Um, yeah, well, on. so... Like, oh, sure enough, that looks like a ghost. That's what John C. is going to be soon. Ghost. So, so you didn't receive any negative no, reactions or anything it. like it's that? No, they loved it. They loved it. Tell, tell me your name again on camera. Carl James. All right, cool. Thanks, man. No problem. Hi. Beautiful. She's out here. She's excuse me. Don't excuse me. Tell my intelligence. Look at me. Don't have it. Look. I'm looking. Looking. Look. My brother is one of the big coordinators of the event, and he he gave um he felt pity to his big sister and decided to give her a small space. So oh, well. this is my first venture in putting things together, 
and um, getting good response and it's lots of fun and what I did was um, work through the buildings and uh, try to find something that was creative and something that was also in some sense of it artistic and showed some sort of beauty that was still here even though there was a lot of um, demolition, hard feelings, things like that. I was hoping that it would be more like I was thinking more with the butterflies, like the metamorphosis of the project. So, what do you think about this? It's kind of, kind of a random, random kind of an art show, but uh... well, I think it's great. I think it's a terrific opportunity, as far as uh, the youngsters are concerned, to be involved and uh, to participate. And I think it's, I think it's a very smart, a smart thing to do. To be honest with you, I felt kind of guilty tonight. Um, I've lived in this neighborhood for seven years, and this is actually my first time here. I've ridden my bike around here a couple times, but I really haven't come into the bowels of this neighborhood. And But also, um, I think ha showcasing people's work in this kind of environment and atmosphere, it kind of gives them, you know, no holds bar. I think it's interesting. And I'm, you know, so, uh, I think overall it's a great process and a great time to reevaluate our history and the charm of the area and recreate it as best we can. I'm just reflecting back in the time so I can know where I came from so I can know where I'm going. You know what I mean? And that sky shall get. Them that's not shall lose. Yeah. Now, did, you, did you find there was any? Did uh, was there any uh, negative reactions to the, all these people being here? Or was no. Everybody seemed to be pretty. No, most to... everyone was very receptive. Um, there's some photographs over here that I took of um, some of the individuals that were actually still living here. Yeah, and it was nice of the buyer and the um, one who's doing this development to let uh, young people and young artists come in and just express themselves just however they wanted to do. And, um, really some great stuff. Really some yeah. great stuff. I'm looking for the transition area from the big house and big yard I'm in now to a smaller place with a, with no yard and uh, like I said the transition before I go to the old folks home. To the big house. <laughs> We've got like 35 artists so far. Do you have any favorites? <laughs> um, I do. I don't know the guy's name, but it's the um, one room with all the Polaroid pictures and the montage of the photographs on the wall. That's and that's I'm, that's, uh, <laughs> that's um, uh, uh, Pinkney, uh, Walter Pinkney. I saw I saw Pinkney on there, but it said something like some Pinkney. Yeah, it's Jumi. Jumi is gotcha. his nickname. Yeah, Walter Pinkney. Movement, movement, disappearing, uh, coming, going, evolving. The whole, I mean, it's just basically the neighborhoods evolving. I mean, it's sad and it's good at the same time. Smart. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thanks for appeasing me. Absolutely. Okay, give it, blow a kiss. <laughs> <laughs>